I'm Michelle Few and I'm Chief Executive of BUAV, which is the British Union for the Abolition of Vivisection. We're the world's leading organisation campaigning to end animal experimentation worldwide. And one of the issues that we're raising is the amount of pain and suffering that animals actually face daily in laboratories. This week in the High Court, the government was actually found guilty of misleading the public over animal suffering. What we found, based on extensive undercover footage and documentary evidence from Cambridge University over a 10-month period is that the government had been categorising experiments which involve very substantial suffering as only moderate. We've seen, for example, marmosets having the top of their heads removed, invasive brain surgery, some of these animals actually left to die, all of this categorised as causing only moderate suffering. Why does this matter? This matters because one of the key issues around animal experimentation is that it's conducted in secret. The public have no idea what's going on behind the closed doors of laboratories. One of the only things that the public and Parliament actually get is reports of statistics of the number of animals that are used and the bans of the kinds of research that take place. So, for example, routinely the government says that only 2% of procedures in the UK actually cause substantial suffering. What the High Court found is that actually procedures that very clearly cause substantial suffering to animals were only categorised as moderate. That matters because the government has been misleading the public and Parliament about the nature of animal research in the UK. And it also matters because the amount of animal suffering that actually takes place is used in what's called the cost-benefit test, where the government weighs the suffering to the animals against the perceived benefits to society, for example, coming from that research. Obviously, if you downplay animal suffering, you grant more licences for research because you can say that the benefits are worthwhile. So this case is really significant, and it goes to the heart of animal experimentation in the UK. What the BUAV would like to see is an end to animal experimentation, primarily on moral and ethical grounds. We simply don't feel that it's morally defensible to cause this level of pain and suffering to animals in research that's not for their benefit. And secondly, on scientific grounds, there's growing evidence that actually the scientific validity of animal experimentation is being questioned when we see 9 out of 10 drugs failing in clinical trials after animal research and when the effects of drugs are actually the fourth largest killer in the United States, we've got to question whether animal research is actually delivering the cures for diseases that we would like to see. What the BUAV is advocating for is modern, humane research. We all want to see cures for diseases, but we want to see 21st century cures. It's time to actually consign animal experimentation to the history books, not only on moral and ethical grounds, but on scientific grounds too.